What is desync? If you are an online gamer, chances are you've heard the term and you may not know what it is. And we have Brandon Sivret here to explain exactly what desync is. Brandon, what are your qualifications to explain this topic? I think the biggest, most important one is I've been a lifetime gamer. Um, I've spent my whole life gaming. I've done indie dev. I've done mods for different games. Ended up getting my uh, bachelor's degree in software development from Western Governors. And I'm currently enrolled in the master's degree for game design at Full Sail University. So most gamers have heard the term desync. I asked a series of gamers, what is desync? And I got answers ranging from it is a server thing to EA and Activision hate me, F this game, I'm out of here. So that's the range of answers that I've received, but you're here to lock it down for us exactly what is desync and why it happens. Sure, so the server side answer is probably the most correct. Uh, and whether or not it's deliberate or uh, you know, choice by the developer to set up the game that way, or uh, it's your connection, it could be a combination of the two. So what I'm here to do is explain a concept called server side rewind. Uh, and that's part of a leg compensation approach that a lot of AAA studios use, uh, depending on you know whether the game's set up to be client authority side or server authority. Most games that are secure and don't have you know don't suffer from rampant cheating are server side authority, which is what we're going to talk about. So we're here in Engine right now. I'm showing uh, got Unreal Engine up, and this is the character with the hitboxes that we're using uh, for our server side rewind purposes. It's actually from a tutorial from Steven Ulibarri. Uh, he's an amazing instructor, one of the best courses I've taken uh, in order to get you know, up to speed on my C++ background. Uh, but it's the third person shooter online course that he's got that you can find on Udemy. Uh, so I highly recommend it. It basically shows that anybody can get into this uh, and can get developing. But you can see most gamers are familiar with hitboxes, uh, but this is just showing you the primitive shapes that we use to simplify some of the hit detection, You know, whether it's a headshot or you know if what it does is what we specifically use for server side rewind is we save each of these individual hitboxes within a, what's called a frame package and uh, unreal engine has that native to it uh, you just have to enable it uh, when you set up your your server uh, and, and set up your networking uh, so we're using server side rewind and this is how we're implementing it from the hitbox uh, perspective. So hitboxes range depending on the game that you're playing and how the developers want those hitboxes to be utilized. So let's go ahead and jump into an actual level in game here so that you can see the hitboxes and then start explaining what server side rewind is. All right, so we can actually see in game. This is what the frame packages look like. Uh, you can see as I move along, uh, that's how fast each frame is going. Uh, you can see as I, as I stand still, it bunches up. And as I move out and, I, and, I, and I'm moving, they start spreading out. So this is where some of that, I swear I hit him as he went around the corner kind of comes from. Because as you can see, kind of the, the fidelity or the refinement or the spacing between each frame allows for that, that time. So it's using each still frame to compare each time you get hit. All right, so we can see as the boxes get spread out, you can see how far apart the frames are. And this, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that you're always one frame behind the server. No matter how fast your internet is, no matter how close to the server you are, you're always at least one frame behind because the server doesn't know that you hit the trigger until you tell the server that. And that's where some of that, uh, that difference. So when I shoot and I'm just a step around the corner, uh, it has to go back, confirm that hit. And then whatever you're seeing visually on your local uh, version of what's happening in the game, uh, that's where that phenomenon actually happens. Uh, where it becomes really obvious and becomes a bigger issue is if somebody is really lagging. And some people actually do this on purpose called lag switching. They'll lag on purpose to take advantage of that because developers are trying to account for people with slower connections. So that's where you get some of that deliberate desync that we talked about earlier. So we can all blame people with slow internet connections is what you're saying. I mean, that's typically what we used to do <laughs> and continue to do uh, for those of us who have been gaming forever. <laughs> yeah, are you a jackass? Hey, are you running on Wi-Fi, you jackass? <laughs> Still running on dial-up, right? <laughs> so I think one of the easiest ways for us to describe what desync or server-side rewind is, there's essentially three versions to every story. It's like you have your truth, then the other person has their truth, and then there's the actual truth of something that happened. Well, instead of the people's truths, it has to do with your system setup. It's what happens on your system, what happens on their system, and then what happens on the server. Would that be an appropriate way of describing what desync slash server-side rewind is? 
That's exactly what it is. The server is the authority in, the, in a server side authority set, setup. Uh, so essentially what you have is, you know, that truth, everybody has their truth, uh, but the server is the final authority, but it's, it's basically taking a combination of what you're doing on your end, what the other player is doing and what the server is seeing. And really at the end of the day, the server is what decide what happens. As I move around, you can see the, the frame discrepancies. You can actually mm -hmm. see how, how they get spread out to the other player. If they are several frames behind on an update because of their latency, it might appear to them that you're in the doorway, but really you're two or three frames over because of the way that the, the server is communicating with you. Is there a system that the server uses? Is it an average of some sort to decide exactly where you were and where they were when a shot was fired? So I get to give you the the answer of it depends. <laughs> it really depends on how it's set up. Uh, essentially how this is built and how Unreal Engine works is it will actually uh, record the frame in which you shot. So when you clicked uh, the fire button, you'll actually send that frame number to the server. The server will rewind to that frame number, compare where you were, where the other player was, and then decide whether a hit happened or not and that's where if it's several frames behind it may feel like there's a bit of a you know a rollback to actually getting hit so it, it feels a little bit out of place in time because of that comparison so what you're saying is there is a little bit of truth behind the people who answered the question of what is desync with ea or activision hates me f this game because yes. <laughs> It might be how they have everything programmed with their servers and the way that it's interacting with your system and the way that it balances everything out, you just kind of get the raw end of the deal. Correct. And depending on how they calculate the round trip uh, for the amount of time it takes to get from your machine back to the server, uh, that may affect that how many frames back it goes. Well, there you have it. That is desync slash server side rewind again. Don't throw your controllers. Don't throw your mouse. Don't break anything. It's just a game. And this is coming from a guy who has rage quit many times in his life. But thank you, Brandon, for explaining this to us. Absolutely.